Hi there! Some days ago I published a new tutorial about how to achieve the clouded pencils effect in game 2.8 uh, using the GMIC plugin. I thought uh, it was a, uh, a very cool and uh, a very useful uh, effect if you want to, to give uh, a non too much detail look to to your artwork. So I thought that it, w it would be a good idea to explain also uh, by making a video and um, solve in real time the problems that we can uh, find uh, using the the plugin or or the technique in this case. Because sometimes it doesn't work uh, as we can expect. Okay, so. We're going to uh, get this image and transform into this one. First thing we need to do is just to uh, go to the filters and search for the GMIC. I don't know if it's the GMIC or GMIC or whatever, but uh, thanks David for your hard work um, and all the GMIC team. Um, there you have uh, a lot of uh, parameters and menus. Uh, well, it's not so complicated as as it seems. You just have a, a preview area where you just uh, see the the filter effect uh, applied on on your image, and then you can select where to apply the the filter. In this case, I'm going to use a new layer and by default is in place. But I'm going to use the new layer. After that I'm going to search for the black and white category and go to the hard sketch and by default we have something like this. If we want to see um, the default state of uh, any of the filters we just uh, click in the reset and the filters get the the default or factory settings. Okay, so in this case, hard sketch um, make just a bunch of lines uh, describing all the contours using the edges as a threshold. Uh, I think this is the way that that it works because if we reduce the edge, we start to see this is a rainy effect and bit worth, but if we reduce the opacity and reduce the smoothness and increase the density and increase the amplitude as I told in the tutorial, then we have something like this. Okay, we apply the filter doo -doo -doo, and we wait until the filter is done. It's a big image, well, a mid-size image. Uh, it can take uh, a few seconds, but the result here we go. Okay, we have something like this, and if we put to the soft light, as I said in the tutorial, well, it's not the expected result. So how can we fix that problem? The problem is that the, the layer doesn't have the the uh, amount of texture that we need. We need a, a lot of more of grainy texture. Okay, so we only have uh, this uh, texture, as you can see here. Not too much, and we want to increase it. So we repeat the filter. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. We are going to see the background layer to see the effect. And now we are going to see another problem that I made uh, just to show you one thing. Do -do -do. Okay. We have uh, this, uh, <laughs> this is strange thing, but yeah, you see the, the info is there. And if we zoom it a bit, you see that there is a lot of grain texture that that uh, we want to to apply in the soft light mode, and we see 
well it's not the spec to result so we're going to modify it using the curves a bit and just do it something like this there you have it the grain um, this step can be uh, tweaked uh, as, as much as you can so we get something like this and uh, let's see its overall mid grade size so it's okay then we delete this layer because we are not going to use it and duplicate as we as we talked in the in the tutorial uh, oh sorry as we learn on the tutorial my english is uh, sometimes uh, <laughs> terrible now we have to make the the pass okay we're going to reduce this Reducing the 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 blacks. Okay, it's more or less just a more or less. Yeah. Okay, this one. And now I'm going to make a duplicate again, and using the resolve. And I'm going to apply. It's just, I'm going to search for my faves in the the contours. So this is a the the contours pass, but I call. It here in a different way. I reset and then apply. And we wait and we have something like this. Uh, just as I'm using a new layer creation, I don't need uh, the other layer. Okay, so we have this uh, <laughs> cost effect, but if we put in the soft light, start to see that this is more or less that we have in the in the other image so now we have to uh, reduce the the intensity of light uh, reduce the exposure but uh, keeping all these uh, counters that we want to to keep okay so how can we do it just go to the curves as I said in the tutorial, we re reduce the whites or the highlights and duplicate again, and there you have it. This is uh, basically the same thing that I did in the original image that I used for for the tutorial, and I hope this uh, uh, brings some light about how to use it, the gimmick uh, filter with hard sketch filter to achieve this uh, colored pencils effect. I hope you enjoyed uh, <laughs> this uh, trick and see you next time. Bye!